Alright, in this video I'll quickly show you what you need in order to get Android Studio up and running and to start actually creating your apps. So this is what you'll need. So the first one you can go to oracle.com or well you can actually just go and search for JDK. If you search for JDK it should be one of the very first links that opens up brings you to this page. Okay, so otherwise just go and type in that URL. So if you go to the URL, if you just playing around with Java, then NetBeans with the JDK would be would be great. But if you're only a Java developer, uh, uh, an Android developer, you can go and click on download for only the JDK. So you're going to click on that download option. And it gives you different options. There's uh, the very first one. You need to accept the license agreement. And then you can see there's the JDK for Windows. 32-bit, Windows 64-bit, and then for Mac and for Linux and whatever one you would like for your specific operating system. So in this case, uh, I think you guys will probably go with uh, with 64-bit Windows or the 32-bit Windows. Uh, for me on the Mac, it's going to be this one. If you, you've got a Mac at home, download that one and install it. So after you've downloaded this file and installed it, you are ready to go over to Android Studio. So for Android Studio, again, you can just search for Android Studio. And then the link that says download Android Studio will take you to this page. Or you can just type in that URL. It's the same thing. Okay, so directly it will give you the correct version for your specific PC. I've got a Mac, so it automatically picks up this is the file that I need to download. But let's say you're downloading now for Windows and you're not on the Windows machine or whatever. You can scroll down and where you can see different platforms uh, that you can download for. So if, you, if you're with uh, Windows 64-bit, you can download it, this one, which includes the Android SDK, which is the recommended one. So I would also recommend downloading this one and let it update. Or if you already have an SDK somewhere, uh, you can just install this single file. Windows 32-bit, no SDK, no installer, there's for the Mac, there's for Linux. And then all the information about Android Studio and what's new and so forth, you can find on this page. So go ahead, click download Android Studio and start install Android Studio. Okay, so if Android Studio is installed, you will basically get to the screen. And because you have got no applications uh, started or opened yet you won't see uh, the left hand side bar which we will get to the next video so if you go to configure now and go to sdk manager you need to get your sdk manager up to date so you'll see under android sdk it opens up automatically and it gives me an indication of what is currently installed on my system uh, which versions of android and how what is the status on it you'll see uh, some of mine are installed totally some are only partially installed it's because i do not take every single system image they're just too big so if you want to get this up to date go to launch standalone sdk manager which opens up the sdk manager for you and allows you to update some packages so what i normally do is i take everything under tools so you can see there's an update available again so it shows you if there's an update available if it just says installed it means it's installed uh, not, no new updates or anything but if it shows update available it means you've installed it but there's now a new update so you can update it uh, if you go down you can see an Android 7.1.1 I've got the SDK platform but I have no system image so if I want to have a virtual device that's running 7.1.1 then I need to have one of these system images so it's up to you whether you download this or not but it's very big please be warned it's very very big then in Android 7, you can see I've got the SDK platform again. So that's that's the important part is the SDK platform and the Google APIs if they are available. Also documentation, it's up to you to get the documentation also. I would also recommend getting the documentation. But the system images, do not take every single one of them. Take the ones that work for you and only download a few. So there you can see for Android 6. I've got the platform, I've got the Google APIs and some system images uh, for Android 5.1.1, the same thing. So you can see there's a lot that on mine that says not installed. And that's because of all of these different system images. They're just too big. 
So if you go down, another important part that you need to have installed is your extras there. So under extras, very important to get the Android support library and probably also the Google Play services. But uh, in general, I like taking everything here just to make sure that everything is up to date. Uh, and it depends also on your system. You can see that this one is not compatible with the, the Mac, but I've got some other, other things again that's compatible with it. So get your SDK up and running, update it, make sure that you've got everything. It's going to take a while to download everything. And then when you're done updating your SDK, we can head on, explore a bit Android Studio, and then start creating our very first application. See you there.